Did you know that the leading causes of death among infants and kids are birth defects and cancer? The NIH Common Fund's Gabriella Miller Kids First Pediatric Research Program, or Kids First, aims to help researchers uncover new insights into the biology of childhood cancer and structural birth defects with the help of children and their families. This program was inspired by childhood cancer advocate, 10-year-old Gabriella Miller, who was diagnosed with inoperable brain cancer and who boldly challenged the United States Congress and research community to stop talking and start doing. Children with structural birth defects, including congenital heart defects, orofacial clefts, and neural tube defects, also have an increased risk of developing childhood cancer. This suggests that there may be shared genetic pathways underlying some childhood cancers and structural birth defects. The Kids First program is creating a data repository where data from children and their families with these rare conditions are available in one place, where they can be accessed, analyzed, and visualized. Researchers collaborating with children and their families can apply to submit genetic samples for research use by Kids First. These samples undergo whole genome sequencing. Genome sequences from participants are harmonized and put into a large-scale data resource where researchers can access a variety of information that has been made ready for public use by investigators and the Kids First program, including genetic data, which includes the genome sequencing, as well as clinical data from patients and their families. Analysis and visualization tools are also available through the Kids First data resource portal. These tools help researchers understand the data in new ways. By understanding one condition or comparing data from several conditions to look for common pathways. This allows researchers to make new connections between genetic pathways found in both structural birth defects and childhood cancer. Discovery of these new connections have the potential to lead to a better understanding of disease mechanisms, leading to more effective disease prevention, diagnoses, and treatments. As of early 2023, Kids First has investigated 1,940 unique health conditions while supporting 63 sequencing projects, which have made nearly 25,500 participant genomes available to researchers around the world through its Data Resource Center portal. This has led to new scientific discoveries for Down syndrome, cartilage tumors, vascular anomalies, and more. These collaborations have the potential to lead to new prevention methods and treatments alleviating suffering for many children and their families. Are you interested in learning more about the Kids First program? Visit commonfund.nih.gov slash kids first. To access the Data Resource Center portal, visit kidsfirstdrc.org.